Hi guys, my name's Liam, this is my wife Georgia and we are packing for places. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. Now this vlog is jam packed. We've done so much in Abu, we were there for one month. So we've got kickboxing, we've got yoga, and then at the end we're gonna be telling you what we actually thought about staying in a bamboo house. So make sure you watch to the end. And one more thing, I don't just have one vest, okay? Every vlog I see, I've just got this black vest on. I have actually got a few of them. So I'm not a complete and utter skank. Hope you enjoy this vlog. Make sure you watch to the end. Much love. Morning guys. So I've already got up really early this morning and went to a kickboxing Mo Chai, Mu Chu, Pikachu class, um, which was pretty cool. Uh, and now had some breakfast and me and Georgia are going to, what are we doing? We're doing acup acupuncture yoga. Acupuncture yoga. <laughs> you always laugh at me. I'll tell you what, you look the part. <laughs> I love the helmet. Look at it. It's sort of the blue the blue goes with your outfit. Colourful Yeah. As they say, all the gear and no idea. Yeah, I can't even touch my tie. Bit like me. <laughs> This is like a proper retreat. There's loads of different rooms, loads of different areas. So people can stay here and just they have yoga like nine hours a day, every single day, every hour of the day they've got the yoga on. It's like a total calmness about it. So I think people literally come from all over the world to come here. Yeah, um, it's really famous. And just stay here for weeks on end. George, you look very yoga-like. We just had a chat with our instructor what's her name Moyan. um really really nice lady i think it might just be us two doing this um fingers crossed because we don't want to make idiots of ourselves. <laughs> we're a bit worried about expert yoga people like coming in but but this one's a bit different you do acupuncture pressure points with tennis balls so it's a little bit different. yeah it's a little bit of a different sort of yoga like we had to get like right let me show you and like we've got like two tennis balls two blocks two sort of cushions but yeah that's where she's going to be and me and georgia we're going to be here just finished um it was just amazing she was just so helpful like i'm so stiff like and all these different positions and she just kept coming and putting like different supports under different parts of my body like yeah she was really good at adjusting then at the end like look at this like someone's basically just made a little bed i know look at this so <laughs> but no i like it we will be coming back there's loads of other different classes like so we'll definitely be coming back so today is about a bit of self-care and loving yourself We've done some yoga and now I'm getting a pedicure because my toes are disgusting but it feels quite nice. Finding my inner self. Our first real coffee shop experience here in Abu. It's called Panini and Coffee and it's just in the most beautiful setting like really really nice and it's down this absolutely amazing little path. Um, I wouldn't want to come down here if you had a few drinks. It's quite narrow, but I'll show you some pictures of it. Food's arrived, looks nice. There's basically no chips. I asked for some french fries, like a little handful. I'm gonna fill me up, is it? So, unfortunately, not for me, panini and coffee. I just ain't been that impressed. I feel like you're being very negative. Well, no, I'm not being negative. Yeah. Like, I love the chilled vibes of the booth, but 
I'm just not impressed with the food so far. Um, oh, I'm going to find you a Michelin star. Yeah, no, I want something nice. Like, but it's not the same as Changu, but just letting the viewers know that so far the food, the food isn't isn't great. It's all right. It's not amazing. Morning, people. Uh, had a bit of a lie-in this morning. We're getting a bit lazy, aren't we? We are, yeah. Laid into like nine o'clock, and the weather's absolutely beautiful. So... This morning we are going to go on the hunt for some of Abood's finest rice terraces. So, just arrived. So we'll just have to go out and have a good look and see what we can see. So I think we're actually going to go trekking through the rice fields. <laughs> it says rice terrace trekking. Well, we're going to go for a little walk anyway. Why not? It's a beautiful day. Well, to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, I really expected them to be beautiful and green. Um, and I don't know, they just look a bit muddy and crap, to be honest. Not very impressed at all. I'm sure, I'm sure there's got to be better ones out there. Me and George ain't having it. There's no way this is the best the boot's got to offer. I know it's tourism's down, they'll probably not maintain them, but I'm not having it, so. These ain't what we're looking for. We want green. <laughs> So we've abandoned the rice terraces today. Um, we need to do some more research. I'm not getting the drone up and getting loads of footage of just like brown rice terraces. So uh, come to a little um, sort of pool bar, um, just to chill for the afternoon. Relax, it's absolutely scorching out here, so. Yeah, well, all day, every day. Oh, I got some tea. Are we filming? Yeah. Hi, my name's Liam. <laughs> My name's Liam, I'm from Packerford Places. So we've come to Folk Garden and oh, it's so relaxing. And we're the only people here. Uh, there's a little family of some kids and that's it. But it's got a swim up pool bar, um, some nice beds. So gonna get some food. Sun shining, just gonna get some food. We're just happy just to chill out. And we'll yeah, stunning. Loving it. Cheers. So I just finished at the pool bar, folk gardens in Abood, yeah. such a good chilled vibe, good food, good drinks, swim pool is beautiful, so definitely will be coming back here. Morning guys, uh, so I just dropped Georgia off at yoga and I'm going to another kickboxing class, uh, it really hard last time, so hopefully it's just going to get easier. So I just arrived. Oh, this place, I'm beginning to love it, man. Meet these trainers, they're proper quality. Here we go. Here they are. This is the big boss. The big, big boss. My boss, it's my boss. And this is the small boss. <laughs> How you doing, boys? Good, good. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, good, man. Good. I'm ready, man. I'm good. The first one is the big boss. The other one is the one that trains me. Uh, absolutely love it. It's proper buzzing. I'll put the link in the description below. Show you where to come. If you're interested in kickboxing, martial arts, this is the place to come. Just finished. 
as you see, it's just so hard. I'm, I'm unfit for one, it's really hot for two. It's just taxed on your body. Um, but I'm enjoying it, so that's all that matters really. Just gotta keep going, keep training, and learn to get better. So we've just come to this place called Sane House. It's literally two minutes, isn't it, from where I was? And wow, it's, it's rammed. I didn't think it'd be this busy, but the views are absolutely incredible. What'd you get there then, mate? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> What's it called? Um, I Am Whisper. I Am Whisper. Yeah. Oh, nice. Looks, looks nice. What do you say? It's got half of Epping Forest in it. You say that every time. Is it sure? You can stir it. Oh, I can stir it? What, that end? Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. And I've got a cinnamon. Oh, look at that. Cheers, baby. So, just come down and sit on the grass, watch the sunset, and literally can't believe our accommodation is just over there. And we kept going past this place, and you just don't know, do you? It's, I put it on a Facebook, uh, we're on a boot community, and just loads of people said this place. Um, and then come down, it's absolutely rammed, you can't get nothing to eat here, but absolutely stunning night. What the hell? Can you hear that? It's literally like a gecko or something. It's like so loud. Hi guys, so we've just arrived at our bamboo house in the middle of a boot, like just surrounded by rice terraces. It looks insane. We're so buzzing to be here. But let me just give you a little show around of what it looks like. So we've got a nice little sort of like plunge pool. It's not very big, but it's just so hot that it'll be so nice to get into later. Uh, and then on the outside, it just looks just the way it's built. It just looks insane and you've got a nice seating area here for the evening nice little table and chairs to have some food and this is like our kitchen area all your sink and your fridge and kettle at the back there's the stairs going to the bedroom i'll show you in the the bathroom's completely outdoors now me and george i don't know how we feel about outdoor bathrooms And then, yeah, the outside toilet and that. Uh, if you wake up in the middle of the night, you're going outside to the toilet. I don't know how I feel about it, but. And then a really nice outside shower. It is beautiful, the outside sort of bathroom, but we do like being indoors. Like when you're having a shower and it's really hot outside, have a shower and just start sweating again. So it's nice for just one, two nights, but I wouldn't want to live like it permanently. And then we'll go to the upstairs. And this is the upstairs. Look at that view going out. It's like it's all open, so you get like these nets you can put round just so you don't get bitten alive. Open these doors. And this is just like a net in that you can sit out and so you see the nice views. Morning people, it was a very, very strange experience last night. There was a frog <laughs> that was basically outside that did not shut up all night. And then the rain, so what you want to do is you want to rock up, you want to take all your pictures, post them on your Instagram, and you want to get out of here. <laughs> because we have not slept a wink last night. One good thing about it though in here is you did get like, oh, oh. George was trying to be elegant, trying to get out of the hammock. <laughs> um, yeah, one good thing was this net covers you. Because uh, there was lots of creatures about last night and obviously all that is open. All down the sides, that's all open. All the back. You are pretty open in here, so it's quite good that we had that net to protect us. And we got a couple of extra fans, which was really handy. Uh, well, we had one fan, and I asked him, I said, can I have another fan? Because uh, it is pretty hot in here, and we're used to air conditioning, so. Oh, George has got an injury from a 
No. Oh. Oh, Georgia got bitten. Georgia always gets bitten. So, what is it really like to stay in a bamboo house in the middle of rice terraces? Well, it's hard work. Didn't get much sleep. Lots of frog noises. The rain come down. It's just, it's perfect to get videos. It's perfect for content for YouTube. It's perfect for Instagram. But practicality, it's not very practical. So, if you're looking for a good night's sleep, then this is not for you. Don't forget, guys, to like and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Instagram at Packing for Places. And we'll see you in the next one.